Oh my goodness. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Mackie and this is IC Modify. We have a 1969 Chevy Camaro. You see the grill here? It's not as cool as the grill from this one. So I bought this finished body that has holes in it already just to use the grill. This look is a lot cooler than this one. The quality is pretty good for a finished body. Wow. It comes with a little supercharger. I don't know why Kyosho didn't include this grill with this kit. This thing will look pretty much just like this one, but without the holes. That's not all. I just worked on a new V8 supercharger blower engine. I just freshly made this thing. As you can see, it's still being tested and all. Stay around to see this thing in motion. This body will be Dura Tracks Basic Black. We have some wheels, engine sound, motor, and ESC. There will be a bunch of things showing up throughout the video. This is just to get started. And of course, we're using the M Drift 2 chassis. Let's just get started. I got most of the chassis assembled. Now it's time for the V8 engine to get painted and assembled. The assembling process is pretty much the same as that one. If you're pretty good at assembling things, you will figure it out pretty quickly. I cut this on the back here a little bit so that the bell housing can get over it. It's pretty cool. I got the engine on the chassis and now I'm gonna put some wheels on it. Whoa, honestly, this is already cool. Oh no. I thought the body is 275mm wheelbase. Apparently not. It's 260. In the product description, this one is listed as 275mm wheelbase, which is wrong. It's actually 260, just like this clear one. So I'm gonna make it 260 real quick, and we'll go from there. Okay, it's 260 now. Oh man, if this body didn't have the body post holes on it, I would definitely use it. That is insane. Of course, we always run into a problem. The front of the chassis is actually too far forward. So I'm gonna design another one that is a little bit shorter. I just designed it and I'm printing it right now. While waiting, I'm gonna work on other things. Okay, just to show you guys a little bit that the front end of the chassis is a little bit too long. Also, the wheels are coming out too much. They're hitting the wheel wells. To fix that, I found out that I can trim out a little bit from the wheel because the wheel hub on the wheel is pretty deep and it's not supposed to be that deep. At least it can be deeper than the wheel hub on the chassis here. The hex here is three millimeter tall and the cutout on the wheel is five millimeter deep. So I'm gonna trim it down two millimeters. Somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna take the wheels and do this somewhere else because things are flying everywhere. Short front mount is ready. It's about 7.25 millimeters shorter. There's a lot more room in the front now. 
the cutout for the super charger here is perfect i'm basically just gonna measure that and cut that on the new body I have one millimeter aluminum wires here that might come in handy when you're doing pipes and stuff. Okay, I got the roll case and a few parts design. I mainly need the roll case right here to see where I can put the ESC, the receiver, and other things. I got the dash and the exhaust. I'm working on multiple things at the same time, trying to finish this build faster. It looks a little messy. While waiting for the paint to dry, I'm gonna work on other things. Oh my goodness. So I didn't do the wiring correctly at one point. I corrected everything and I thought it would be fine. Turn it on, oh that's a lot of smoke. I basically just need a new ESC. There is one trick I want to tell you guys. Sometimes the jumper doesn't work because the terminals don't make contact. So what I usually do is to make the terminals a little bit further apart. This way the terminals will make contact better. The rubber band keeps coming off. I'm gonna use super glue to glue it. Paint on the roll cage is dried. Room, room, huh? I added a spring right here. I got a radiator. I also got some silicone hose. Okay, haven't gotten much done today. Let's try to move faster. The chassis wiring is finally done. It's time for the roll cage. All the seats and everything inside the cage will be installed. Got some shifters, handbrake, pedal box, and NOS. Can't forget that.
making sure nothing's breaking. Seat belts next. Last two. I need to order more. They are right for racing. Ready for racing. <laughs> All right. Shouldn't take too long. And then three hours later. <laughs> Almost three hours. <laughs> I was joking, but reality is not joking with me. I have to use tweezers. I have a regular one and a Tamiya one for the stickers. They're very useful. It is finally done. And now it's time for the body. Front grill will have to come off from this one. For the side mirrors and windshield wipers, I'm gonna cut this off and then use the screws instead. Oh, the masking tape. I think it's time for paint. Dura Tracks Basic Black. Tamiya tweezers. It's been about 15 minutes or so after the last coat and I'm not gonna touch the paint but I'm gonna take out the masking tape real quick just so that it's easier now than later when it's all dry. Stickers town. I want to mention something. There's some stickers that don't allow light to pass through them. Just like these reverse light stickers, for example. I might have to cut and use the old stickers that allow some lights that I have laying around instead.
have some very small LED lights. This way, I don't have to make a light bucket for it. I'll just use Teflon fiberglass tape to tape it on the body. Guess what guys, you don't have to buy this completed body to get all the rally sport parts anymore. Kyosho just released an unfinished version of it just now. It even has the marking for the hood cut out. I started all this two months ago. Okay, let's finish this thing. Okay, this body came with the black stripes. So I'm using the white ones from the new body that I just bought. Whoa, I'm done with the stickers. For real. And finally, it's time for the LED lights. I'm installing the fog light and turn signal and it turns out the fog light is too bright so I'm using black permanent marker to color the white LED light so that it's a little dimmer. I have a new crimping tool because I'm dealing with small wires. I wanted to make it look cleaner so I found a common wire which is a positive wire. You can see that I have one positive wire going to the front and one positive wire going to the back. That saves a lot of wires. I'm gonna tape all the wires down using Teflon fiberglass tape. I'm gonna show you guys how this thing works. Let's start with the battery. This is how you take it off. Turn on the remote first, and then the main switch. This one is right height. This one is horn. Channel three is clutch. <laughs> Every time <laughs> without clutch, Shadow Four got two positions. First position, I used it for the LED lights.
and then second position for the B8. And there you have it guys, this American muscle is finally done. I hope you guys enjoyed and find it helpful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you again next time.